then when you view a slide a kidney tissue slide you would see something like a round ball with some dotted structures a round ball then you see something like cells surrounding it so you know that is the glomerulus surrounded by the bowman capsule hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Jemima. today we are going to talk about how to scale through practical anatomy exams so like we all know there are usually two practical anatomy exams histology exam and gross anatomy exam so today i'm going to talk about histology practical exam and next week i'm going to talk about practical gross anatomy exams this video actually comes in a series i started from how to study for distinctions i'll put the link up here in case you've not seen that video please go and see it it's a series i finished with that and started how to answer anatomy questions in exam if you have not seen that series please go and see it i'm going to put the link up here so this is a third video in the series first series was how to study for distinctions second series was how to answer the ex um, exams and then this series is for practicals last one was for theory this one is for practicals and after practicals i'll go into mcq and after mcq i'll wrap everything up with what you should do on your exam day so this is a series that you shouldn't miss so if you're a medical student and you're watching this video please subscribe to my youtube channel Give this video a thumbs up, share this video to your classmates, to your colleagues. It's going to be of great help to them. So let's get on with today's video. I really do not know about your school, but in my school, our histology practical exams are usually steeple chase. I think 10 to 20 to 40 microscopes are kept and they, there are some slides that are kept to be viewed. So I think it's every 10 seconds or 20 seconds or 30 seconds. So let's say 30 seconds. So each student is given 30 seconds to view that slide, write, identify the slide, and they could actually ask another question. Why did you say that is what you say it is? They can ask you why. Why did you say, like for example, if you view a slide and you say this is the liver. Why did you say it's the liver tissue? So it's when you answer those questions, before you know it, 30 seconds is gone, you move to the next and then to the next and to the next. So to be honest, these have been a thorn in my flesh, histology practical exam. So um, I'm going to tell you those things that I regret not doing in my time and those things that I did that worked so well for me in my histology practical exam. So one thing, one important thing is do not miss histology practicals. I don't know about your school, but in my school, during histology practicals, the instructors give proper explanation. The instructors help you, guide you. When you view a slide, the instructors help you to identify the slide. They also help us to identify the cells within that tissue. You know, for example, viewing a liver slide, the first thing that you should look out for is the central vein, and then you now have the portal triads. So there are some key things that you should look, look out for when you see a slide, when you see a tissue. There are some key things that you should look out for. And in my school, it's during practicals that these practical instructors show us these things and give us tips on how to identify these slides. Um, I will try and see if I can be putting the pictures of these slides so that when I explain, you would understand what I'm trying to say. So for example, when you see a slide and you see some colored I'm, I'm trying to look for the best layman word to use so that you get what I'm trying to say. Okay, like for example, you see some circles, 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 and inside the circles, you see there's a colored, there's, there's a colored compound inside that circle, like pinkish or reddish, you know? When you see things like that, you know it's thyroid. So what you're seeing is the thyroid follicles that have this colloid inside of it. Or when you see a slide and you're able to pick out the Havesian system, you know that is a compact bone that they've shown you. It's just for you to identify it. When you see a long tissue, try to look out for some spaces. You see some spaces, white, clear spaces. When you see something like that, you know it's, it's the lung because those are the alveoli. And when you see the small intestine, you would see simple columnar epithelium there. You will see villus. It depends on the, the part of small intestine that you will be shown. You will see the villus, 
or you will see the simple columnar epithelium and that thing that you used to know that this is small intestine you see the crypt of libacum if you're shown the ureter for ureter you are going to see a star shaped lumen or if you're given a slide and it's divided into layers and you're not so sure it could actually be the skin and not just the skin the epidermis of the skin you know the epidermis of the skin is divided into different layers try to make out the stratum corneum the stratum lucidium stratum granulosum stratum um, spinosum and stratum basal stratum corneum will be it will be like line 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 straight 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 line because the cells are flat then the next one under it will be the, la the stratum lucidium that will be made up of just a clear layer just check out for this layer if you're shown a tissue like the ovary just look out for some tiny tiny cell like structures that are in different stages so you see the ovum at different stages you, you get so you you see the graphium follicle you see corpus luteum you just see different round roundish rounded cells at different stages so when you see something like that you know that is the ovary so for testes you see cells like the seminiferous tubules so just look out for cells that are arranged in a u kind of shape then you know that is seminiferous tubules then when you view a slide a kidney tissue slide you would see something like a round ball with some dotted structures a round ball then you see something like cells surrounding it so you know that is the glomerulus surrounded by the bowman capsule that's the malpigian capsule those are just little little things i can't really sit here to tell you the whole all the tissues because of want of time but there are some key things that you should look out for when you see slides another thing is browse these slides check your textbooks when you're checking textbooks, don't look for the ones that have been drawn i'll i'll look for a picture to show you what i'm saying don't look for this picture that is that is that is a diagram look for pictures pictures that have been taken from microscope real life slides the pictures of real slides not diagram so that's because it's not the diagram that you're going to see it's not the pencil or drawn diagram that you're going to see it is the real picture the real slide that you're going to view so you should get yourself used to these things so remember histology particle i don't know about your school but it's usually steeple chase and there is usually no time so once you come in you view the slide try to look out for some of these little things check if 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 it has a lumen check the size of the lumen check the type of lumen just check check the kind of cells around it so you would have an idea of ah this is kidney or this is ureter or this is uterus or this is testis or this is thyroid i mean thyroid gland or this is a lung so that's that's it i know it's not easy but just try and then last but not the least, if you want to watch a YouTube video in preparation for your histology practical exam, which I strongly recommend you do, look out for those channels that are using live slides, pictures of live slides, not drawn diagrams. Drawn diagrams are only useful if you're preparing for histology theory exam, but for the practical, look out for the channels that teach with live slide, pictures of live slides, that is what is going to help you in your practical exam because it's this live slide that you are going to see, not the diagram. So, like I said, for histology practicals, you need to get yourself used to these pictures of slides. Look for them, browse them, check your textbooks for them. Prepare to walk under 10 seconds because you're not sure of the time that you'll be given. And they could also ask you the origin. The embryological, uh, embryological origin of that tissue is it mesodermal is it endodermal is it ectodermal so they can actually ask that they can also ask you what is the epithelium of this tissue so take note of the of that also then so i mean that's that's just basically it's 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 easy to say but it's difficult to do these things it's, diff it's really really difficult but not impossible so just try and 
get these things done so if you've watched this video to this point i'm really grateful thank you so much for watching remember it's a series so please check out for the other videos in this series how to study for distinctions how to write exams anatomy exam physiology exam biochemistry exam so the next video i'm going to upload will be on how to write gross anatomy practical exams so tips on how you can pass and have these distinctions in practical exams so see you next week for another video on how to study i mean on yes on how to study and write practical exams bye